Welcome back to Morning Light. It's uh, 8.31 and it's time for another segment in our 107 Live series here on the Classic 107. In the studio with me this morning, I have the uh, pianist, singer, Amber Epp with me. She's known for her uplifting vocal jazz music, rhythmic beat. She performs with uh, bands like Trio Bembe and Papa Mambo. She's performed across Canada and won the 2011 Western Canadian Music Award for World Recording of the Year. She recently released her debut jazz album called Inside Outside. So please welcome into the studio Amber Epp this morning. Good morning, Amber. Hi, good morning. Pleasure to have you here. Thanks Very, for having me. First time I've, ha I've had you in the studio. You've been here with Neil before for his uh, Jazz After Nine show. Yeah, so I've been here. Yeah, I've been here to do a, a little bit uh, with Neil in the evening, and uh, so now we're going to the other the other nine o'clock. That's right. And, uh, the other nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're morning nine o'clock. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so before we chat a little about uh, uh, your music and uh, you, we get you to play for us, why don't you tell us a bit about? It? I know. Yeah. You, you know when I I've listened to your music and followed your career for a little while now, and you've gone sort of towards a jazz thing now. You've been through your a Latin thing. How did you come by playing Latin and jazz music before? I mean, you were into classical music before, weren't you? Yeah, so I grew up in Steinbeck, um, a very uh, a Mennonite kind of centered community, and uh, there's a big emphasis on on music um, in the Mennonite tradition. And there's a lot of choirs. Um, so I was always in choir growing up, but I loved being in the musicals. I took classical piano from when I was eight all the way up till. 18, 19 years old when I entered university. And um, I didn't even know jazz or Latin music existed growing up. So <laughs> it was like, the, I mean, wh what I what I heard around me, that that's what I knew. And um, I loved playing piano. I would just play and play and my brother would yell, are you done yet? And no, no, I got to play this again. Practice some more. Um, so yeah, I, I grew up with, um, with a lot of classical music and uh, a lot of vocal choir and musical theater. I wasn't really into opera, it didn't really sit with me, but I, I, I liked the musical theater a bit more. And um, when I was about 17, I heard jazz for the first time. And uh, my parents took me to um, The Hang, which mm. I used to be at the Free House in Osborne Village. And I those, you know, yeah. I saw some uh, members of the faculty, jazz faculty at the U of M playing jazz live in the flesh and I was amazed that you know we had that here in Winnipeg and I just I fell in love with it so I started you know learning all the jazz tunes I could and um, I entered university um, when I was 18 and I auditioned for classical piano and also for jazz voice so I you know wanted to have one in case the other didn't work out and I was accepted for both, so then I had to choose. The what am I going to do? I didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to, you know, be able to 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 carry both. Mm -hmm. uh, so I picked a jazz voice, and you know, I don't regret it at all. I I love performing jazz music, and I still love classical music. Um, I don't perform it a lot, but I play it at home. Um, I love to I love to play it, and that experience of learning classical music and theory and that sort of thing has helped me with playing jazz music and Latin music. Um, there's so many comparisons between the two. Um, and there's a lot of places where like music is music. You got to know how to play a triad, you know, you got to know how to play that, whether you're playing classical music or jazz or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really helped inform the music that I play now. And I still have a still have a love for it, especially on the piano. Well, let's have a listen. You, what have you chosen for our first? Sure, tune I'm going to do um, the Christmas song. One of my one of my favorite songs to do at Christmas. And um, well, I won't. If you just heard the jazz pianist, it won't be anything like that. But I'm working on it, and <laughs> um, we hope you enjoy it. The Christmas song. Amber Epp. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey Help to make the spirits bright. Tiny tots 
With their eyes all aglow We'll find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from one to ninety-two Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It's gorgeous, My gorgeous version for the morning. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Amber Epp is in the studio as part of our 107 Live uh, segment. We're uh, having some music and we're chatting a little bit. So, Amber, when, uh, you know, you, you did the classical thing, you did the jazz thing. So, when did this, when were you, uh, when did you first come across Latin music too? Because that uh, that is something you become known for across the city for sure. Yeah. Well, when I started studying jazz at the U of M program, um, you know, there was this jam session every week, um, so I'd go to that, and, you know, it was a lot of university students, but also open to players from around the city and high school students and uh, anyone that had an interest in jazz. And uh, sometimes the Latin musicians would show up, mm -hmm. or uh, musicians that also loved Latin music. Uh, so I met people like Rodrigo Munoz, who leads Papa Mambo, uh, people like Scott Sr. and Victor Lopez, uh, Ken Gold, he's a saxophonist. He was my ensemble instructor, and he also played a lot of Latin music. Um, you know, so I heard it, and I kind of I liked the rhythms, and I hadn't heard anything like that growing up. Not a thing. Um, so nothing I, like that in Steinbeck. No, no huge. It's hard to believe, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I started following Rodrigo. I'd call him, "Are you playing anywhere this weekend? Can I come?" And I'd go to the Inn at the Forks or, you know, anywhere he was playing. And I'd watch and then I'd like, hey, what's that instrument? Can I play it? Like, how do you do that? And then I'd, I'd start like trying to sing along. I didn't know, speak a word of Spanish. So I would just kind of like watch his mouth and try to like imitate the, the um, you know, the sounds he mm -hmm. was making. And basically I just sat in with his group enough that I finally became part of the group. And then I started learning Spanish. <laughs> so at first I didn't know a word of anything I was singing, but um, I, I just, I love the rhythm and I love the feeling of Latin music uh, and I love the, the Latin culture as well. And um, I don't know, people are like, what's a Mennonite from Steinbach doing singing Latin music? Mm -hmm. And all I can say is when I went to Cuba, they told me the stork was headed for Cuba, but it hit a wind and dropped me off in Canada instead. <laughs> so I don't know. There's something there that, mm -hmm. you know, I love the rhythm. I love the joy in the music. Like you can't feel bad when you're listening to Latin music because, you know, it's just got something in it that that is very joyful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I've been studying it. I'm still studying it. Um, I went to Cuba for a few months uh, in 2010. I went there for three months to study music and I had to speak in Spanish all the time. So that helped quite a bit and I'm still learning. Um, but um, I just, I love the music and, and the people and I'm just learning all I can about it. Now you guys just had Trio Bembe, uh, your group with Victor and, and uh, Rodrigo, just had their uh, Christmas concert 
So it just happened, what, last week or not too long ago. Yeah. Um, so what you've got other concerts coming up too, right? Sure, yep. I am going to be playing at a new restaurant this Thursday. It's called Ripe Bistro, and it's on Corridon. So I know I'll the place, playing, yeah. Yeah, I'll be mm-hmm. playing a, a more of a jazz evening um, from 6.30 till 9, mm-hmm. and it's with a guitarist. His name is Guillermo Osejo. Uh, he's from Argentina, so we'll be playing a few tangos. And a few like Latin jazz things, but also just a lot of, you know, jazz standards that we love playing. Mm-hmm. And I'm at Hermano's restaurant every Saturday uh, with a Papa Mambo trio from 8 to 11. So um, that's where that's where I am uh, every Saturday. And then coming up uh, in March, it's a little bit a little bit time off. You're also playing with the MCO String Quintet yeah, at the so West End Cultural Center. I had this idea. We should do a, a show with a string quintet. Mm-hmm. So there's your classical background it. coming through. Well, yeah, and I just thought it would be fun, you know. Let's pair a Latin trio with a string quintet. It's not something you see too often, mm-hmm. um, but you know, kind of the idea was from some of these early Buena Vista Social Club records, where they had these great Cuban musicians and they had strings to go along with it. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it's a bit of a challenge for me too. I've never written for strings in my life, so I'm going to be learning how to do that. You like to challenge yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, and I mean, I believe that, you know, if you, I'm the kind of person that I'll, I'll, I'll do it if I have a deadline. If I don't have a deadline, I won't do it. So I booked the concert and now I got to do it. Mm-hmm. And um, it's something I think is important no matter what your, what your, you know, your job is or your career or your interest that, to, to have a goal and how you're going to get to it. And um, I just thought it would be, be really fun. Um, and Rodrigo, the uh, who plays with us in Trio Bembe, he's performed a lot with the MCO, the Manitoba Chamber Orchestra. So he's going to he's gonna help out a bit too, let me know a bit of what, what mm-hmm. he's done. And, and um, yeah, we're just, we're really looking forward to it. So that's uh, March 24th of next year at the West End Cultural Center. Mm-hmm. You can get information on Amber's site, amberup.com, and also on a Trio Bembe site. Triobembe.com. So there you go. Simple. So you've got one more tune for us this morning. Yes, what, I do. What's, what is it? This is um, Angels We Have Heard on High, but it's not going to be your um, traditional version. We're going to Latinify it a little bit. No and, surprise. And uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you, Amber. <laughs> bringing some some joy, some jazz, some Latin to the uh, morning light show. Thank you for coming in this morning. It's My been a pleasure. pleasure. It's thank all, you. It's been our pleasure having you here this morning. And remember, you can catch her live this Thursday uh, at Ripe Bistro, six thirty nine, with the Guillermo Osejo. And then in March uh, with Trio Bembe and the MCO String Quartet at the West End Cultural Centre. You can go to her website, amberep.com, triobembe.com as well. Probably find her on papamambo.com as well. <laughs> She's kind of all over the place. I'm going to play you uh, one more tune uh, this morning from uh, Trio Bembe. This is, they have an, uh, a Latin album out that came, well, of course, Latin, but it's a Christmas album called Feliz Navidad. And this is a Trio Bembe's version of Jolly Old St. Nicholas. <laughs> 